So we have this uh, we have this Excel data that we want to graph, and we want to graph in particular four pi squared r cubed. You know, it's kind of hard to see. I'll fold it um, against t squared, and we can do this in Excel. But Excel is a little bit more difficult to work with and doesn't do uncertainties and error bars as well. So we're going to actually use Logger Pro. Uh, we're going to use Logger Pro for our graphing. Um, we got our data in Excel, but Logger Pro is just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my raw data for 4 pi squared, r squared. I'm going to copy it, control C, and I'm going to paste it into Logger Pro. And it's kind of hard to see the data. Let's make sure that it's right. Paste it in Logger Pro. Let me label this correctly. Uh, the name of this is going to be 4 times, uh, let's see, what else do we want to do? We, we might want to add some Greek letters. 4 pi, if we can do a superscript, 4 pi squared. R superscript again 4 pi squared r cubed so logger pro also lets you do nice formatting here and the short name is also just going to be what the name is 4 pi squared r cubed the units 4 and pi don't have units r has units of meters so it's going to be meters raised to the third power meters to the third power. Done. Okay, there's our 4 pi squared r cubed values. Let's also insert our t squared values. Control C, Control V. Let's format that correctly. Uh, period squared, short name is going to be t raised to the second, oops, T raised to the second power. We'll do superscript 2. By the way, I double-clicked the columns to get to these column options. And the units are going to be, well, here it is in seconds, so the units are going to be seconds squared. Done and done. Period squared and seconds squared. Uh, so now I have my data. I can graph it. Looks like it actually already did graph something. Um, we want our y value, though, to be 4 pi squared r cubed. So I'm going to just click this and change it to 4 pi squared r cubed in meters cubed. And I want my x value to be t squared. So I'm going to click that, change that to period squared and second squared. Notice that the scaling got all messed up. Messed up. You can see four data points here, um, but they're all really, really small. So I'm going to go up here and hit the auto scale button, auto scale graph. And here are our, our four data points. If we want to rescale the graph, we can always manually type in a number at the top to change the maximum scaling, but it looks like auto scale worked really well. We can also drag and drop from the bottom to move the bottom axis. We can drag and drop from the top to scale up the top. Um, same with the horizontal axis. All those controls are still there, but I'm going to stick with auto scale. I'm going to want a linear fit to get the gradient of this graph. So I'm going to click the linear fit button right here. And error, please select additional points to perform curve fit. So it doesn't know what I'm trying to fit my curve with. So I'm going to select all four of my points by clicking and highlighting in this dark gray box around all of my four points. Um, Actually, let me close out that old linear fit. Now that I've got this area selected, I'm going to do that linear fit one more time. And we get a nice clean linear fit. And we got a slope of 1.337 times 10 to the 20.